Let's look at subject verb agreement. The subject and verb of a sentence must agree in person and number. So here we have the subject down the left, the verb in the middle, and the person on the right. I am, we call that the first person singular. You are, the second person singular. He, she, it, is, the third person singular. We are, first person plural. They are, third person plural. And often in business writing, we have mistakes made between the third person singular and the third person plural. Let's have a look at a, a business type of verb, which is require. I require, you require, he, she, it requires. So again, the third person singular has changed its form. It's got that S at the end. Now this is quite simple when we've got these simple subjects. However, subjects aren't always so straightforward as these personal pronouns. Sometimes our subjects are more complicated. Let's have a look at some. In the first example, an internet search for the product requires a detailed understanding of the product specifications. An internet search for the product equals it. It's the third person singular. And because of that, to make the verb agree, we need to put the S on the end of requires. So requires a detailed understanding. Again, as we know, that's the subject, that's the verb, that's the predicate at the end there. In the second example, the directors, so that's the subject, it's a third person plural because that equals they. Then we have the verb require. We don't have the S here. It's not the third person singular, it's the third person plural. And as we know in English, third person plural, we don't have the S. So the directors require significant training in presentation skills in order to successfully sell their concept to international clients. Let's now look at some example mistakes and look at the corrections. In the first example, the growth opportunities for the business includes focusing on the production of digital and commercial products. Now clearly there's a mistake here. And the mistake is that we shouldn't use includes, we should use include. We have the subject, the growth opportunities for the business. So that's a, a plural subject, it's a third person plural. Therefore, to make the verb agree, we need to use include. Looking at the second example now, the enhanced core product give more streamlined service to rural clients. It doesn't seem right, it doesn't read right, and that's because it doesn't agree. The subject does not agree with the verb. So our solution should be the enhanced core product gives. It gives, that's the third person singular. In the third example, there is no barriers that prevent the company. So again, it just doesn't feel right. It doesn't seem right. That's because we need to use the third person plural. There are no barriers that prevent the business from pursuing its current objectives. In the final example, we have the subject, the business, which is it, it require. No, that's incorrect. It should be it requires. So third person singular, the business requires investment. Otherwise, there will be significant capital shortfall in the second half of the year.